How to make a Windows 11 bootable USB on Chrome OS and phone. I did it. I broke my Windows 11. Automatic repair could not fix it, could not access safe mode, system restore or anything else. The laptop was in a fail to repair loop. And worse, I had no bootable USB to repair or reinstall Windows. All I had was a Chrome OS bootable USB and three empty USB drives. So, I figured there must be a way to make a Windows bootable USB in Chrome OS. I did some research, and the results were promising. So, with the USBs ready, and a lot of hope, I jumped in Chrome OS and started working. But first, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon, so you won't miss any of my future videos. Because Chrome OS is on a 16 gigs USB, I don't have enough space to download the Windows 11 ISO, which is larger than 5 gigs. So one of the three USB drives will be for download. To do that, I have to change the download location in browser. Next, downloading the Windows 11 ISO. With a simple search on Google, the first option is usually the official link from Microsoft. Following the required steps, and some clicks later, the image was on its way. Once the download is complete, it's time to try out the first method that I've read about. The truth is, most of the comments say that this method used to work, but now not anymore. Even so, I decided to give it a try. Because Chrome OS does not recognize an ISO file, the internet says to rename it from .iso to .bin. Next, from Web Store, I added the Chromebook Recovery Utility extension. Here, from Use Local Image, I have selected the bin file, and chose one of the remaining USB drives. Because they were all named the same, I had to guess which one was empty. The good news, I chose the right USB drive. The bad news however, as the internet said, the method did not work. I had to change back the bin file into ISO, and prepare for the second method. This one seemed more promising because involves one of my favorite tools for creating bootable USBs. Ventoy. If you are not familiar with Ventoy, I previously did a video about it. You can check it out by clicking the link in the description. Start by going to Ventoy.net, Downloads, and from here, download Ventoy Live CDISO. With this one I don't need to rename it to bin, but to compress it to zip. Once compressed, just like with the Windows image, I opened the recovery utility, selected use local image, and chose a USB drive, again praying to choose the right one. Like before, I chose the right USB, but the method failed. Although, I do believe that this could actually work on a genuine Chromebook, or another USB. So for those who want to give it a try, I do suggest to go for it, and let me know how it went. If you want to see the full tutorial about this method, check out this video from Jeff's Tech. So, at this point it seemed like nothing works for me. I was desperate, and like any other desperate person, I did the desperate thing of searching for solutions in Play Store. And I could not believe my eyes when I saw that. Ventoy app for smartphones. I downloaded the app, opened it, clicked away the big fat TikTok ad, and, of course, did not work on Chrome OS. Could not detect my USB drive. Lucky me, I had a USB to USB Type-C adapter, and with this I could connect the USB drive directly to my phone and install Ventoy on it. The app had no problems recognizing my USB. That was a good sign, and if it's half as good as the PC edition, then it should work without any issues. I left it on MBR, selected Secure Boot Support, press on Install, and moments later I had a genuine Ventoy USB drive. Time to test it out back in Chrome. I plugged in the USB, copied the Windows 11 ISO in the Ventoy folder,
restarted the laptop, entered in boot menu, and selected the Ventoy USB, and there it is. Ventoy bootloader with the ISO ready to boot. Success! Now, before you say it in the comments, I'll say it here. If I would have known about this app from the beginning, this video would have probably been 30 seconds long. Because you can easily download the Windows ISO also with the phone.